come here to me. Let me see your face. <laughs> like, we said, we washed them last night. <laughs> They're filthy again. They found, I don't know, like, should I corner this off or something? Should I stop letting you guys in there? Like, I know you're having fun, and I know your dog's like, should I just let them get all mucky? Oh, God. I just washed them. <laughs> what are they doing? Like, what is the plan? Hey, what are you doing in there? Hmm? Are you eating it, or what are you doing? How in the name of the jobas? I assume that thing sits on the floor there, right? That's the old car clump. That thing sits on the floor, but what does this attach onto? It should be metal. Oh, there is metal bars there. Okay. I suppose I just clamp this down into the metal bar, is it? This is quite complicated. There should be a metal bar like underneath the seat. And then. Uh, this is tricky. Oh, wait. Nope, that does not explain anything. It's this thing here. Oh, what does that do? There's something. And this does something. Alright, let's try the old ramming technique. Just jamming it behind the seat. And see if that does anything. <laughs> we decided we're going to put it behind my seat because, um... I looked up and I was like, is there any particular special way, like, you're supposed to put it behind the driver or the passenger or anything? And, um... Everywhere said no, like don't worry about it. Like has to be like a a front facing or something like that. So I was like, oh well we put it behind me. So if Anna has to like sit in the back or if she sits in the front we put her seat all the way back so she can keep an eye on Amelia, then um it won't be weird that like she's sitting behind me, you know? So we still be able to see each other and stuff. I think it makes more sense. But okay, I might have to turn the vlog of these off here for a second because I think I need my two hands to try and get this thing to clamp in. Oh, I got one of them in. This second one, because of the seatbelt thing. All right, hold on a second, guys. So, I think I found the instruction things at the back here. So, I flopped this over here, right? And it seems that, you see in here, the red, this has to go green by clamping in with these little things here. You have to clamp into the back. It's really difficult to get it in there. I wonder if I, like, can I take the seat out to do this? Like, I can feel the little things there. Obviously, they're built into all cars nowadays, four baby seats. It's just the seatbelt is making it a little bit more difficult to get at. You know, can you see it there? You see, this one over here is relatively easy, because look, it's right there. But the seatbelt strap here is making it a little bit more difficult. Okay, we're going to get this. We are getting this, guys. I wish it wasn't so heavy. It might make it a bit easier to maneuver. Oh, God. Give me some comments if you guys have ever installed an Isofix into your car. <laughs> Just as I say that, I got it in. Oh, it's clamped in, lads. Okay, next problem. I need to get this thing to go down. <laughs> but, um, what kind of a father would I be? I don't know. Amelia, if you're ever watching this, this is what I do for you. This is the struggle in life I do for you. <laughs> but I bet you, I bet you you're worth it. I bet you are. But in, um, in years to come, please be good to your father. Know the struggles that he went through for you. <laughs> what does this do? Oh my goodness. <sighs> what if I just buy her a pony? We are off on a sunny, sunny day. I am on my way to the Popo Box today to see all the treats and surprises that I will receive. <laughs> don't say anything to the Popo Box. Ever. Ever. Seriously, don't. So, we were in the Cork News today, which is awesome because we got like a, a quarter of the front page and then we got like a big two page spread thing. I stuck it um. I put the link to it because they're obviously they have an online magazine, which is kind of cool as well. Like so, um, I put all that on my Facebook. If you guys want to read it, and you didn't get a chance because I can't find it. 
I went to this bar and they're like, oh, we don't have it, the, the locally one. Then I was like, oh, maybe it's the one that gets sent to your house. So I went to uh, Mama Styler's. It's not there either. So I. But maybe it's just not being distributed yet. Yeah, but it's already half. It's three o'clock. I know, but maybe where like where we live is on a. Like, yeah, I know the echo doesn't come like till quite late. The echo doesn't come. No, not to the house. Yeah. But to remember last when we were in the echo, oh. I went to the spa, and he was like, "Oh, the echo doesn't come till like three or four. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, okay." Okay, wow. Really? So... We yeah. used to get it, but I think that's... Yes. Put up the no junk mail sign. We don't get any... Although, very effective. Yeah. No junk mail sign is very effective. We have zero. People really follow that. Yeah, like, which is great, like. It's nice. It's like, it's like a man with a biz vest. You better do what he says. Yeah. Always obey a man with biz vest. Or with a clipboard. A man with... Yeah, someone with a clipboard. Yeah. Yes, sir. And my bank details, is it? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> there is, I don't know what it is about. I'm always, I do that in the, in the, when you go to like the shopping centers and they try to like, no, no, you should go this way. I'm always like, I'm going my way. Just because you have a vis vest does not mean you control my life. Now, it may have come to your attention, this back here, okay? <laughs> because I made it and I, and, and I couldn't figure out how to do it and then, and then it wouldn't clip in and then eventually I got it to clip in but after it clipped in, I realized that I had to adjust it and then I was like, oh God, and now I can't figure out how to clip it out again. So. That's a to-be-continued project. Check this out, guys. My Lafloof is now sponsored. That is so cool. <laughs> sponsored from Hairbond. <laughs> Isn't that so awesome? I Remember, love it. They contacted me just before we went to Italy. Oh, look. Four. Four dots on hold straight. Yeah. The molder's unique, innovative styling product creates chunky separation with a matte finish. Strong, flexible hold. Give immediate grab and high density. I it's love cool. it. I love it. And it says to use on dry hair as well. Yeah, and yeah, that it doesn't yeah. give it's the effect of wax, but it doesn't give the wet, shiny, it's greasy look. I'm totally checking it's this so out. It's so heavy. Isn't it? It looks really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So we'll turn out just a quick swim by the popo. That's then turned into lunch in town. That's what happens. That's the way it works. Because it's really sunny, and then I was like, it's I think it was when we stopped at the English market. You can just oh. smell everything from the English market and I was just like, okay, I'm eating now. I'm eating now and I'm going to the ground floor. <laughs> also, I love those shoes on you. Do you? I like these shoes on me. Hopefully um, I don't get any explosive waters today, you know? Look, I'm smuggling a beach ball. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. what it looks like. Nice beach ball. Top, it just looks like I'm smuggling a beach ball. On my beach top. ball. Beach ball, babes. <laughs> so I'm just going to now, put it in a bike. Because it might be all sold out there. I hope you saw that later. Okay, what do you want to eat? I'm sure BC mode. Some are tasty, some are nice. Pick a place. Pick a place, pick a... Oh, what about... Oh, is that too far away? You know the place where we had our wedding dinner? They do a nice salad. Wedding dinner? We go second wedding dinner. Or third wedding dinner. Okay. Uh, where was that again? Because that was nice. Yeah. Remember, I think they did a warm Caesar salad. Or we can go to um, Italy. Oh, Italy. Oh, they're, they're actually across the road from each other, aren't they? Yeah. Or Milano's. No. No, not Milano's. Okay. We'll decide. We'll we'll discuss it on our way, <laughs> and we'll we'll come up we'll come up with we'll a plan. That one has. We decided to come to. Italy. Oh, but then there we go. It's pretty empty as well. What's cool about this place is actually, as you can hear, it's actually like an Italian restaurant. So they actually talk in Italian and stuff. But look, mozzarella, buffalo. So are you getting that? Yeah, I think so. I actually asked her where the uh, buffalo mozzarella comes from and I was like, is it coming from a squirrel? But she's like, no, no, it's supposed to be better than that, so, uh, like, I'm, I'm base everything off the buffalito, you know? We gotta look at all the stuff over there, it's just like, like it's just like the, uh, the Italian shop. I'm pretty sure you can buy stuff Really? Mm -hmm. oh, they have the bickies. I was saying we're out of them. Because I was saying that we're out of them and I was going to have to go back to his place. Oh, yum. Well, we're going back tomorrow, right? Oh, oh my god, tomorrow, guys. Fresh homemade focaccia from Pascal's wife. She's gonna make them. I'm very excited about that. Look, do you want you guys want to see the newspaper? Look at that, isn't that so cool? Where is it? It's so in your face. It's so in your face, like keeping up with the Sikoni Joe. It's so when you turn weird. over. And it's so cool looking. Oh my goodness, that is one hell of a write up. Yeah, isn't it's it? really nice. Where was that? It was in um, Sorrento. I know it's in Sorrento, but... It was in the park waiting for my mom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we got the monkfish. 
Ah, oh, yeah, and look, we actually got onto like on the front page of it as well. Like a little Connor, us and Roy Keane. Kino, Joe first, Kino. <laughs> but yeah, that is so cool. I didn't realize it was a whole thing. Mm. Mm. That is so awesome, isn't it? Hey, look, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just hold her up when she comes up. I'll just, I'll just pretend to be ready. <laughs> When I picked her up and I was like, that's the thing about picking up the paper when you're under the front page. <laughs> Just like, really sketch, like sketch. It's <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Oh, I'm well proud of that. Like, I think that's really cool. Yeah, no, I know. Pets, parenthood, and the power of the internet. <laughs> mm. That's really good. Keep me up to see how many jellies. Oh my god, look at this. We have to check the buffalo, the pesto, the rocket, the prosciutto, the bread. Oh my god. This is so amazing. And look, it's Italian water. <laughs> I don't think he's banging off everything. <laughs> I don't know whether it's just to like drool over it or eat it. <laughs> Come on, Nini's. Come on, Nini's. You're so slow. You know what I think it is? What? I think things have moved around. Yeah, there's no room anymore. Yeah, yeah it's, it's harder like to, you know. Oh, hey, the game has changed. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, please, please. Yeah. 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 I know him. That's so embarrassing. Yeah, I know. Like, and then we come down and everyone's like, hi. Yeah, hi. I'm like, we're still the same people. Oh, no, what? But that was really cool. That is really cool. I must say, that was probably one of the, just the fact that it was the front cover and the flip over and stuff. I don't know. I'm having a fangirl moment at myself. <laughs> oh, my shoe. Falling off. Oh. Ooh, a baby gap. I didn't even know they had a baby gap. 60% huh? off. Like it. Love it. Aww. Hi doggy. Mm. So oh look at the wheels. <laughs> Is this the boys? I oh, yeah, girl. No, where's the newborn so? Oh my goodness, the media look like I've been seeing it. Look how soft that is. Oh my god, it's so cool. How old is that for? Six. We should totally get something like that once. And she can crawl around on the floor with them. Look, she's got the little ears as well. I know. And you wouldn't know who's who. Yeah. <laughs> like this is gonna look like beside me. Hi, Dad. You're my favorite dad. I heard a lot about this stuff. This coconut water. If any of you guys have information about that, leave it below because everyone thinks that's really good for you, but you could try, like, one liter, which is like a euro for the milk. Yeah, but like you could try and get one. Yeah, but one's not going to do it, and I don't want to know over a period of time. You might actually like oh, what do I actually like? It? Oh, so, so. But anyway, leave me some commentos and let me know if, uh, if, you're, if you're drinking the juice. Forget fake tan, guys. Tan tablets. That's all you need. Huh? It says, look, may, may help to enhance a natural health cell. It may help and it may not. Food supplement. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at this. <sighs> Little baby ones. Are they so cute? Like caring for the... Little tiny baby trolleys. <laughs> and they're free as well. Bingo. We get Amelia to, get Amelia to push everything around. <laughs> This is really cute, isn't it? Yeah. Lunchbox tomatoes. That'll be a lot of tomatoes to eat for your lunch, though. What's that? Blueberries. Huh. We never really go to Super Value. Changing things up, guys. Normally it's better Tesco or Dunn's. But now we're, we're, we're breaking the mold. We're changing the game. Nice bracelet there. Okay. <laughs> what do you want for dinner? I don't mind. You can roast one of the puppies. Mm. Chicky bananas. <laughs> Check out this amazing adventure. Pineapple slicer and wedger. So cool. It's gonna change the world. It's gonna revolutionize history. So, you guys probably know because it was only a minute ago, but what floor are we on? I never took note. <laughs> that doesn't even look or anything. It wasn't that one. I think it might have been just this one. I found it. So, let's see. 
How bad is it? Oh, that's alright. Alright, so as I've said recently, um, this camera, because I'm trying to use this as a mirror, <laughs> it doesn't, this camera anyway, is um, it's on its last legs and it's kind of out of focus a bit, so I was just waiting for these little, these little buggers to come in. Um, so they came in today on my headband, and um, so I'm going to attach these to the new camera and maybe pass this over as the uh, the new vlogities because the other one is in bits and pieces. Step one complete, which is to uh, put the adhesive down. Um, so you can just sort of you get two circles and then you just sort of like chop them, chop them off to make it. Because then you've got you see it's stereo, so you've got your left and your right microphone, and then the power button, which kind of still works. And then take your little fluffy thingy and you basically just place it on here and the other one just kind of place it on top of it and there we have it it's all operational <laughs> this is a brand new one so uh, this one is much more fluffy and stands out a lot more than the other one I'll flick over the other one now and show you see if you guys notice the difference okay so this is this camera right and hold on we flick to the other one and that's the other one there you guys tell the difference though in the quality look at the difference like the lens the movement because the sensor has not been used at all and even the, probably the audio but um this uh, this thing look at the difference though on um on the floofies on this one like compared to what I showed you a moment ago because uh, like the velcro is probably fine but it's the um like it's completely worn away into just like a little bit mess. I noticed recently it's been a lot of like breakage you know in the audio and you see the ends and stuff but uh, this one still works it's just not working like it's all broken here broken there broken here this is the stuff you guys never actually see because obviously why would this part be in but I can even see like the sharpness of the other one uh, but that's what I vlog with anyway X's 220HS they don't make it anymore that's why uh, I have like a big pile of them, I don't know if you can see them, like, I have a little pile of them over there for as they all break, I just keep replacing them with new ones, like the one I have in my hand. Now um, this one here I have in my hand, this is the one we brought to Sorrento, um, because I was worried that it might actually not work while I was in Sorrento, but uh, oh my goodness, this one's got one hell of a funky hairstyle now. <laughs> nice. Alright, we are going to do something with these dough balls. With these dough balls, with this dough. We figured out, dough doesn't go off, right? Well, not, not like that. Wouldn't be off, yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. We're going to make dough balls because we are making pizza. And pizza needs dough balls. Pizza needs dough balls. Dough balls. Dough balls. Okay, I fixed the problem. I put um, the gating, you know the gating thing that I made to keep the puppies in when they were little babies? Well, I went out there and I put that around all the grass. So they, uh, let's go. What's that? What's going on right there? They're so funny. Sometimes you see them like flying past with something. You're like, what are you up to? What are you up to? Okay, I hope my toe is alright still. So. Oh yeah, it seems okay. It's sticky. No. Yeah, it'll be grand like. It's just be flour. It'll just be little bits of tin foil in it. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, wait a second. Oh god. What's that? No. No, it's not. No, it's it's, not gonna there's, be there's brown bits. It's not gonna be fine. No. Sorry. Dream's over. That's the end of that, guys. <laughs> oh well. Good night. <laughs> it's so funny. Every time we walk past here, I'm like, "Whoa, what the hell is that?" You know, because they yeah, can see the thing. It's so weird. It's like, I don't know. Lately, I've been thinking like, I don't know. Maybe it's about making the cot and then like putting together the buggy stroller pram, whatever you call it. You know, and then putting up the gate and stuff, and then like, I walk around the house and there's loads of stuff like, and, you know, and it's like, oh my god, like I'm having a baby. And then I start thinking like, I don't know, it's like the more stuff that gets here, the more I start to think about it, and then I go like, am I going to be a good parent? Like, do I even know what I'm doing? Like, and you just, I don't know, like, maybe just towards the end, you start to question that kind of stuff, like, you start to think like, this is for real. Like, we're, we're, like in two months time less than two months time, we're going to be given a baby. And like, and, and that's like pr a buggy pram stroller thing there and 
and and and then the, the the bed upstairs and then the changing it in nappies and like I'm really excited for it, but I just I don't know. Lately, I've just started thinking more about it, going like, oh my god, like this is for real. And then I started thinking like, oh my god, like by creating a baby, like I've like added my life another generation of me or something. I don't know. It just I think. I don't know. And then I start getting like, oh my god, like what if I'm not a good parent or something? I don't know. And that will probably happen more and more as it becomes more and more real. Then maybe when they give us the day, we're like, oh crap. You know, you're just like, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Okay, I'm all ready for this, but I don't know if I'm like really ready for this. You know? <laughs> I don't know. I hope I am. Like, I hope I, I hope I do. Like, I hope I'm really, um, I hope I'm a fun dad. But at the same time, I hope I'm like just. I hope I'm. I hope I, I. I teach her good things about life. You know. I think I've had really, you know, an interesting life, and I've had a lot of bad, and I've had a lot of good, and I. I think I'm. I, I hope that I'm able to, you know, teach Amelia, you know, without being too pushy or something. You just. I don't really. You never really know if you're going to be a good parent or not. You know. Maybe it's the way you are raised is what gives you more. Of a fear about it, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not scared. Like I'm not. I'm not scared. Like I love. I love being scared about things to embrace new things and all. But I don't know. I'm like excited and terrified. But just, just over the last few days, like I'm walking in the house. I'm like, oh, climbing over the baby. I'm like, oh, a massive big stroller thing is over there. You know, and the, the baby thing. And then in my car now is a car seat clippy thing. You know, and in the bedroom is a huge thing. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. It's like we're all having a baby. Do you guys feel like you're having a baby too? You're like all our nans, aunts, uncle, aunts, <laughs> nephews and uncles and nannies and granddads and grandparents and Amelia is so lucky. She's gonna have like such a cool support system like. <sighs> Man. I'm having a baby. That's so cool. Hey guys, and thanks for watching another episode of the Zaconi Jolie. And don't forget to like the video and favorite the video because that will be awesome! <laughs>